and of water. The roof, at least for this main section here, is finished. We still have the roof over there though. In 2023. Tomorrow at the uh, clock tower. And yeah, you Islanders can come with us. Hey Islanders, it's the uh, next day here in Island Live History. And for the first time we've seen this ferry here nearing completion. The roof has been, well, I think more or less finally put together. Obviously, they've put the roof together for the most of it. They've still got a bit more of the roof to do around the back there. And then it's ready. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm just going along here. Do you Islanders see that? Do you? It's, do you Islanders see that? That walkway is obviously good to go. It's empty. That's good. Now oh, good. Now our Islanders are not parking here, which is good. That means that we can safely just walk across. I obviously like making these episodes where the islanders do the right thing. So it looks like we're off to a good start, islanders. Very good start indeed. Oh look, the walls are starting to come up as well. Well, probably my guess is, is that they're probably going to put the walls up there and the roof and then they probably should put, start putting the walls up here as well and then once that's done launch it but you'll probably be working on the amenities well, I'll see you at Redland Bay okay I like this and we are here at Redland Bay express lane <laughs> I'm the fastest one out there Islanders, we need to tell Sea Link that they need to build a ferry that can hold more passengers. Because that was a disaster back there. I'll see you all later. Okay, Islanders, we are here in South Brisbane. Uh, yes. We're headed to the um, clock tower. To where? The clock tower, Brisbane City Hall. Uh, where's the uh, City Hall? It's a bit of a walk. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, you're a bit unsafe doing this. So you'd have to, you have to cross here. Russell Walk. <laughs> That's Russell Walk from, from the Russell Island side. Brisbane Convention and Exhibition Centre, Car Park 2 and 3, right here, Islanders. Yeah, so this is the Brisbane Convention and Exhibition Centre. We actually came here um, like years ago, Islanders. actually there in 2017 and 2018. That's the last time we were there. Okay, well I'm just gonna get it on my head because it's a, a narrow one lane pedestrian walk zone right here. Yes I said I said one lane. One. Oh, 
I'll have to keep note of that. <laughs> yeah, this is the city, Islanders. Brisbane city. In fact, where the new, in fact, this probably is the new Sydney now. S Sydney 2.0. Ah, oh, shut up. Whoever's beeping needs to shut up. So this is the uh, this is just the uh, the second Sydney, maybe even the third one. Yeah, this is the third Sydney right here. You can see just all around. Like we've got the Fox Hotel over there. Show you all. The, the Fox Hotel. And I think that's the bus zone right there. The bus is right here. Okay. Brilliant. They knew. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Cool. Okay, now um, this is my friend. Uh, one of my friends, the Russell, actually works with this uh, council here for the bus service. I don't think he's on right now, but <laughs> I wonder what happened there. There we go. All right, Islands, we're approaching Cultural Center. She's down here. So this right here. The new era of connected transport. That's a new slogan right here. In fact, so. Okay, well, we're gonna have to no, no, no! No! You're not allowed to. Even if we cross now, that, that van could have ran you over. That's why you're not allowed to. If that thing is red, it means do not cross. Even if it's flashing red, you do not start to cross. Okay. <laughs> Finally. Now we can cross. We're not allowed to, oh, but now you can. Okay. I'm used to how the city works. You're not too familiar with it. You haven't lived in the city for a long while now. Whereas I'm used to it. Sometimes I learned you get you just get used to city life and others don't. Got a closed up elevator. So I don't think anyone will be going up that elevator because it's closed. 
And Cultural Centre Island is it's undergoing um, renovations at the moment. As long as the Cherry Islanders can see, renovations are underway right here. So you stick to one side, I stick to one side, okay? Yeah, well, I'm supposed to be all over the place. Someone came in the violent line. Right? So you know. Oh, yeah. Next. That's, um, that's our next, next excursion. Our island is on Thursday. Next Thursday we'll be over there. South Bank, over at the, uh, over at the Eye of Seven. I think it might just be better if I just scout a bit ahead. No bicycles allowed here, it's just people, pedestrians only. I think it's just a pedestrian only zone, I reckon. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'll Later. Okay, Island as well. Look at that. There's a bridge being constructed right now, and that eye of seven, that's where we're going to be next week. But yeah, look at that island. As you can see it, that's the bridge. And that's, uh, I think that's one of the many highways or motorways. Well, this is Brisbane right now. And, yep, you can just see it all in well established as well the third Sydney of Australia happens to be this place right here we're in uh, Brisbane Central I reckon I think this is the CBD you can see that island there's all the skyscrapers up there look at them all all of those skyscrapers you can see from right here. Look at that. Hello, I don't like cameraman. Sam's Island Life Office. Austin the Network. <sighs> Whoa. You can see it, Island. There's a t when you when you're inside of a CBD, this is what you should see. Skyscrapers all around you. Roads all over the place. Buses left and right. You can see a lot of people here in the southeast, and this is where, uh, th th and of course, Ireland. This this is the capital city of the state. But yeah, so we've got the capital city of the state here, Queensland. Um, yeah, well, we're going to have to unfortunately cross from here because it's the only crossing that we're allowed to. Yay. Oh, that was quick! That yeah. was well, that was the quickest I've ever seen. And yeah, all right, let's start. Alright, we're here at the other side now. Okay, we just go through here then. So we're gonna go straight. So you keep that side and I can say something straight. Yep, no worries. Alright now. I've been told that in this area here is um, the oldest bank in the one of Australia's oldest banks is right here somewhere. So we'll be lucky to walk past if we see it. But yeah, this is it, Ireland. This is absolutely the biggest city that I've seen here. And uh, yeah, how cool is it to be right here in the city? Yeah. Come on. No, you have to. You have to. Okay, there we go. Maybe you have to run because when it turns red, you who, can't start crossing. Who ever said run across the road? Tell me one person who's said you have to run across the road. 
Uh, well, actually, no. yeah. Who 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 says you st you're supposed to start crossing when it's flashing I'm red? About that. I'm talking about that. Well, that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, how many times have you seen that says start to cross when it's flashing red? How many signs? The same amount that says to run across the road. That's how many. Yeah, and you. So you right there. Oh, pointing fingers, Sam. Yeah. Uh, don't know. Yeah. Oh, I'm being truthful. Mr. Perfection. Uh, I'm being quite truthful here. <laughs> so we're heading in the this city, way. The city's different to Russell, mate. Yeah. So we're heading down this way and we're going to turn left. And turn left? Oh, anyway. <coughs> well, as long as you know where the way is. Actually, yeah, I'm not trying to... Oh, I've got plenty of time. Not until quarter past 11 and it's a... Wow. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock now. So I get something to eat. I'm hungry like, There's a McDonald's uh, right up. I don't up. want McDonald's, not crap Donald's. A Hungry Jack's is up there too. <sighs> Let's go inside the, the food court in here. It's the Maya some... Center. <laughs> okay, Islanders, look at this. A nice little fountain right here. We've got the nice water fountain. Right here. Look at that. Fountain. And there's even a little waterfall along here before it goes into there. Oh, look at this. This is, our, I think, Queen Streety here. Oh, this. This is Queen Street. Go. We found a KFC, a super modern KFC. There they are. That's a KFC. And you're looking good. We've got an easy mart. It's probably the easy, it's probably the oh and speaking of which there's a 7-Eleven. Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh yeah. I used to grab those in the 7-Eleven. Actually, I, yeah, I, I think these guys deliver the 7-Eleven. Because I know that 7-Eleven does stock some of their, their donuts right here. Krispy Kreme, you've got really good donuts, but. I think there's some others out there that obviously make them better. And over here, Islanders, I'm not going to go too far, but you can see right here that they've got a Coles local and a newly rebranded Liquorland as well. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, look at this, Islanders. You can see. And even inside as well, you go inside, there you'll find a Coles Local and a Liquorland inside. There's, it's a really big mall here. You can see there's so much to see here, and all the skyscrapers all around as well. There's the Maccas. Hang on, is that really the Maccas or is, or is that just fake? I have no idea if that's, if that's an actual Maccas or if it's fake. But you've got the City Hall Gift Centre, EB Games, Rocking Horse. You've got lots and lots and lots of different things around this mall here. This is, this is a really big place. It's a big precinct here, Islanders. And even the Commonwealth Bank, which I obviously hate them the most, is also located here. Probably the best thing about this is this is the Queen Street Mall. Look at that, you actually see the entrance. And the best and the best part of all Islanders is that, well, there's lots to see here. But the best part about but the best part about this mall here is free Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi. You get free Telstra Wi-Fi here, I think, is what it says. Anyways, I think we've all had a good look. Alright, I'll let us see you later. So the Resmond City Hall was built between 1920 and 1930 at the cost of 980,000 Australian pounds, which today is about $44 million. It was nicknamed the Million Pound Town Hall. This photo shows the Brisbane Town Hall site in 1923 following the completion of the foundations and the beginnings of building the superstructure. So these photos that you see here 
were from, of course, the decades after when it was um, under construction there. And the City Hall's first foundation stone was laid on the 3rd of February 1917 over at the corner of Albert Street where the King George Square now sits and Anne Street. However, the financial pressures of the war meant construction was never commenced. Um, two foundation stones. A second foundation was officially laid with vice regal representation from H.R. Prince of Wales on the 29th of July 1920 and this stone remains on display at the corner of King George Square and Adelaide Street and then T.R. Hall and G.G. Prentice um, in 1919 the Town Hall Committee recommended the appointment of Thomas Ramsey Hall and George Gray Prentice as the architects of the proposed new Town Hall they were selected from a long list of prominent architects following an exhausted ballot. Um, and a selection of designs was approved in late 1919 with a distinct Italian neoclassical aesthetic featuring an impressive tower modelled on St. David's Campanile in Venice um, and a vast and spacious dome in the style of Rome's Pantheon Messrs. Hall and Prentice partnered between 1913 and 1930. Uh, as for the early designs of the proposed Town Hall and the old Brisbane Town Hall, I'm not able to read any info on that. Now what you're seeing here are the many angles that I was able to capture while I was up in that clock tower right at the uh, top there, well as high as we were allowed to go anyway. And these are the various skyscraper pictures and pretty much pictures up above that I was able to capture while we were going around um, the particular section of the clock tower that we were in. Alright, just to simplify things and so I'm not going on too long, I'm just going to go through overall. So the four smaller bells comprise the Westminster chime, more correctly the Cambridge chimes, and they were approximately three tons and weighs four and a quarter tons. Um, when the clock was built, it's the largest public clock and most modern timekeeping piece in Australia, being the tallest structure until the 1960s. Um, the complete clock of, was built in Brisbane to the design of Mr. Arthur A. Jackson, who was a member of the British Horological Institute. Um, the impressive opal white clock faces are almost 5 meters in diameter with minute hands measuring 3 meters long built of sheet copper. Um, and the clock tower measures 92 meters high and was the tallest structure in Brisbane for more than 30 years until the late 1960s. It has an observation platform at 76 meters and it can be accessed by Brisbane's oldest lift which is still in operation as of today in 2022. There it is. Yep. Nice sculpture. Definitely nail made that. Wow. <coughs> and there's the clock up there. Highest paid female artist in Australia at the time. There it is. And with these pics right here, these are what I um these are the pictures that I took while I was inside the building. Focus shift. When we traverse the city, our eyes are just like the lens of a camera, absorbing the scenes around us. We switch our gaze from near to far, collecting visual data to construct an image of place. Memories float across our minds as we go about our current business, the distant and the immediate, the past and the present. Constantly interpret, penetrate and integrate. Throughout our travels, however, it is not often we have the chance to pause and reflect upon our shifting perceptions of urban life. How do the mental snapshots we take inform our experiences of the city? What are the details we often overlook? The Exhibition Showcase Museum of Brisbane collection works that celebrate Brisbane from completely different perspectives, reflecting the dynamism of our encounters with the city. 
Reaching into the distance, panoramas allow us to appreciate the full expanse of a city. Among the countless images taken since the introduction of photography to Australia in the mid-1800s, these wide vistas contain something special. They possessed a poignancy and power. They capture not a single subject, but the broader context of a place at a particular time. Those on display depict an intriguing Brisbane and track its growth from a modest town nestled in the river's curves to the bustling metropolis we know today. Local artist Carl Warner shifts our focus to the micro aspects of the city, employing minimalist aesthetics. Carl champions the idiosyncrasies of Brisbane's architecture. His series, I Will Support You Forever and Ever, features close-ups of one of Brisbane's most iconic structures, the Story Bridge. He elevates aspects of the river crossing that are often neglected, capturing its steel beams as they intersect to create abstract patterns. Embracing different perspectives allows us to build a layered image of the city that is anything but static. How has your perception of Brisbane shifted over time? Okay, Islanders, well now that we've obviously had a bit of a brief history of the clock tower and the museum. Yep, okay. Where? Here, here. Yep, so you can see it right there, Islanders. This is the outside view right here. And you know with the horses and chariots which both go on as well, that obviously never came to fruition. Uh, and what's interesting to know as well is the lines that are there. Yep. This line. So, yeah, so over in the front of the city hall here, you can actually see the lions as well. <laughs> Very thing. Um, and because it's around Christmas time now, we've got this big Christmas tree. Merry Christmas, Brisbane! Yeah, 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 I'm filming right now. I'm alive. So, there you have it. Alright, well, it's actually 12.26 now on the 24th of November, yep. Islanders. Sorry, I'm just trying to sort my thing out. Okay, yep. We're just going to walk straight up into that glassy area and then we're going to stop it. Okay, good, good. So, yes, Islanders, we've obviously got some pretty good stuff around here, but I think that was the wrong decision to obviously put a lot of this concrete here because concrete does burn up much faster than grass does. Um, I've never stood on hot grass before, but concrete, oh my goodness, that's a nightmare islanders. And believe me, I've stepped on a lot of hot things in my time, even roads, yes. I've walked barefoot on roads islanders. Back when I was living at Coochie, I was, I was walking on like hot roads throughout Coochie. So, so I know all about it, Islanders. This is the hustle and bustle of Brisbane right here. And we've got lots of buses as well. I mean, that's, that's pretty much the, that's pretty much one of the benefits here. Look at that there, there's the Liquorland and Coles Local again, Islanders, right there. And the Commonwealth Bank. The, the bank I hate the most is those guys. Of course, they're terrible. I won't go into the details, Islanders, but just just trust me on this, all right? But yeah, there's a lot of really good stores here that you can obviously take interest in. Hey, Islanders, so while we're walking over on this bridge here, which obviously below has a big amount of road, and of the um, traffic going north and southbound, you see that Ferris wheel right there, Islanders? That's the I of Seven will be there next week. Now I know that a lot of you islanders are gonna be they're gonna have you ridden it before no. First time actually. This will be. So from next week, make sure to see that. And they've also done a lot of modification work right there with the railings. I think because the old one started falling apart, I think. Probably what they put in there, but there's still a lot of renovation work still going.
And there's QPAC. <laughs> yeah. no. Perth wheel's moving again. That's where we'll be next week, Islanders. Mary Poppins musical too. How cool. It's a limited season. And uh, that was if you want to know what that is, Islanders, that was the museum that I'd gone to six years ago. That was for a visual art studies class back in February. Can you see that archway tunnel right there, Islanders? That would be the original walkway. But it's not there anymore, it's now here. I mean, it came along with the bridge. There's, there's the renovation work going right there, Islanders. The renovation work is underway. Right over here. As you can see all the way from there, all the way down to here. That's renovation work underway. So they're really working hard on that, which I can appreciate. It's a little Brisbane sign right there. So I'm obviously wrong direction. You see right up on top of the museum right there is a picture of Mickey. You see? You see up there? Yep. Mickey Mouse. Yep. Original Mickey Mouse. Oh yeah, he was voiced by Walt Disney. Yeah, the original, the um, person that originally voiced Mickey was actually Walt Disney himself. Um, Brett Iwan now obviously voices Mickey. And the Mickey Spouse Mini is voiced by Caitlin. She used to be voiced by Russell Taylor up until 2009. Oh yeah, there's the uh, the Brisbane Bridge history. If you wanted to look at that yourselves, Islanders. There you go. So this must be, I think, the um, older bridge. This is the Brisbane Bridge in 1865 and the Victoria Bridge in 1874 right here. Then the Brisbane River had gone under in uh, 1893. And about seven metres above its normal level. The Pearl Ferry disaster in the same year. And then rebuilding it in 1897 right here. In 1969 and then 2015 right here. So I'll show you all, I'll show you Islanders over here. Um, so if we go over... The tram line? Oh, there's one of the original tram lines right here. Uh, unfortunately the trams don't operate in Brisbane anymore, but they do however operate in uh, Melbourne. They've actually got a tram system in Melbourne. 
here's a view from the Brisbane Bridge. Okay, I have you here, Islander. So this this right here, this is actually a real life version of a scene from Bluey. I think when Bluey and Bingo were trying to lick each other's ice cream. <laughs> that episode? Yeah. Where well, you can find that there. That also this site is actually where World Expo 88 was actually displayed. Right along here. This was around the time when uh, TVO switched to Channel 10 yes. as well in uh, 1988. Um, this is back when Channel 10 obviously. Area here. Yeah. And look at that, we've got swooping birds. <laughs> That's the magpies. Does Bluey have a swooping bird? Do they, do they call them something? Uh, yeah, I think they were called magpies as well. Step over it. Step over it. You gotcha. <laughs> Here we go. Ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> easy. That was easy peasy. Lemons go easy. The jurors and commas out of order, obviously. And we're coming up here to another section right now. I believe there's a series of walkways that eventually lead you to this point here. And there's obviously a walkway that goes over to there, or it goes down towards the Brisbane River. Well, we're going to head back on, a, on and the path. It's to the most famous city beach in the world, formerly known as Kodak Beach. Well, this place, Kodak Beach. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's actually there's actually a lagoon. Yeah. Along this path as well. The most famous inner city beach in the world. There's actually it's almost and heritage listed. Too, heritage listed. Yeah, well, well, well over in South Bank, there's actually a lagoon over at the South Bank. This was a Christmas concert in there too. Look. Oh, Christmas concerts in there. Yeah, How about concerts. all sorts of different concerts, Islanders? Well, they're obviously creating a better parklands here, so it's good to see it while while it's still there. So you get to see what it looks like before before it's all gone. Because five years later, it won't be here. It'll look totally different. And there's that little pathway right there that we've seen in Bluey. That's the real version. There was a bit of controversy when they first built. People said it looked ugly. Now people said they wouldn't, they wouldn't replace the bridge. Oh, so, the so they say that that looks ugly and the Brisbane Transit Centre looks ugly. Now. Oh, good, good. Can't say the same about the... Can't say, can't say the same about the Transit Centre, however. There's the uh, lagoon. Yep, we're going to go around. We'll go around. Yep. We'll get there. Okay, Islanders, now, over here, this is where the lagoon is. This is... This is the South Bank Lagoon, over here, and it's patrolled by lifeguards normally. So there you have it, Island. This, that, this is the uh, this is the lagoon here, the South Bank Lagoon. Doing a bit of work on it. It's normally all nice. Yeah, they're probably working a bit on it over there, but over here it's looking good. And the other half, it's down there. This will this did go under in 2011. Now I'll take you to the other side. And this is the South Bank pool right here, the other half of the lagoon. This is the South Bank pool right here. That looks like a beach, isn't it? Yeah, it's more, it's more like an inland beach. Near, near the wave machine, like a sea to make waves. Yeah, so there you go, this is the South Bank pool. There you go, Islanders. And it's actually patrolled by lifeguards, so you won't drown. A painful death. Okay, Islanders, look at that. Another another waterfall and fountains. 
the fountain and waterfall. Uh, how cool is that, Islanders, to see that around here? This, Islanders, the, the, the multicolored pot plants. We've got blue, green, and pink. Cool. Hey, Islanders, we are here, busting over in Brisbane. And we're going this way. Believe. Where are we going? That way. I don't remember it being this way. Well, I'm a little bit lost too, but we'll get there. Hey, you're lost. <laughs> Tell me that. Way. You're more lost than me. I, I have a general idea. But well, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know exactly. But I have a general idea. Well, I actually know what this is. It's the tunnel that we've gone under in, in Invasion Day. So, yes, Islanders, I actually do know where this is. This is in Brisbane. Or probably more specific to be South Brisbane. Here we are, under the tunnel, and it kind of echoes too. When you, when you, when you, when you sign it and you hear yourself, wow, you can hear quite an echo. Yay, don't sing copyright infringement. That song's still copyrighted, and I think it will be in the, uh, in the following centuries. You, you can't sing, no. Sorry guys, that was my friend singing copyrighted music that we're not allowed to use because we don't have permission from the copyright owner and we use free audio, we use free music from the um, audio library online. We've got our own audio library catalog that we can use instead. So that means you cannot be singing copyright stuff. You know that? Yeah, this is the South Bank Police Station, so we are definitely not in the right place at and all. Turn right up here. Turn right, all right. Um, I think that's TAFE. Yeah, this is the South Bank TAFE. And we've also got the Brisbane Convention and Exhibition Centre right here as well. Again, with a lovely waterfall feature right there. Look at that. A beautiful waterfall feature right there at that uh, convention set. So we are obviously on the right track. We are on the right track because this is where we're supposed to be. Um, obviously. This way, okay. Because yeah, I'm kind of lost. It's a big city. Ah, oh, there's the main entrance, Islanders, if you wanted to see that. It's the main entrance to the Convention and Exhibition Centre. And it's very good to see that a lot of our interior shots are in Sam's Island Life office, except for the photos. Okay, I highly doubt that this is where we're supposed to be. Because if we vaguely remember this place, we were here before. Okay, well, as long as you know, because I don't. I'm not from around here. Even though I was born in a hospital here in this, in this uh, suburb here, but... Not very familiar with it because it's obviously changed a lot in the last 24 years, as, as, as we all know. Because in the last 20 years they've obviously put a lot of more skyscrapers inside and then updated it. It looks wildly different from what it used to look like back in the 80s and 70s. Like in the 70s and 80s there weren't that many skyscrapers around. Now, now here in Brisbane we've got lots. Take a look at all the skyscrapers we've got. And that convention exhibition center was actually built back in 2008. And I'm right there, so. So that building right there is obviously looking pretty tall and pretty enormous as well, especially by today's standards. Uh, 
Okay. I don't even know where I even am. The Islanders. Totally lost. Okay, I'm pretty sure that we're actually at the area that we crossed at before. I kind of feel, I have a feeling we're kind of on the right track here. And from where we are. Okay, now I vaguely remember this. Now, I think you turn left. Somewhere. Yeah, left. But I think you'd have to go to the other side, because that's where the park and the car parks are on the other side. So, I'm not going to do what the guy in front of me is doing. We're going to play it safe, Islanders. And we're going to press this button. Yeah, 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 I'm going, the, I'm going the other way, where the park, where the, where the car park is. The car park would probably be on this side. Okay, well, there's got to be a red light here soon. It can't stay, it can't stay green on one side forever. Because I'm sure we came from that side and we crossed here. Anyway, okay. Islanders, let's go. Stay on that side and I'll stay on this side. Okay, I'll just now we're just now we're gonna definitely retrace it here. Now my friend understands Islanders. Now he understands. Uh, where to for me uh, it's, it's easy to get lost inside this Inside the city islanders, everybody knows that. So easy to get lost. Yeah, this is the place. All right, I'll just be on later. Doodle. Okay, islanders, look at this. This was supposed to have been completed some time ago, and it's still unfinished. It's just like that interchange um, near the Gold Coast. Oh, Islanders don't do what that guy on the motorbike did. You know what happened in Victoria when a car did that? He oh. ran into a police officer that they yeah. killed him. So yeah, so if you're running on a motorcycle, do not do what that and guy he, did. Oh, and don't do what he did. That's illegal. That is illegal. It could be a, it could be a broken down car on the side around the corner. Bang. Yep. So Islanders do not do what those two people on the motorcycle just did. Okay, that is illegal. There could be cars there. Goodness knows what could it be. So please do not do what those people on the motorcycle had just done. That's ridiculous, boys. So yes, the moral of the story is, is do not ride like those people on the, the motorcycle. The story have. is to hurry up and finish his <laughs> roadworks. No, 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 I'm putting, no, what I'm, what I'm saying is the mo the people on the motorbikes, that's the moral of the story. ten lanes each side to make your traffic flow. Uh, well, I don't think that's going to happen. Never, that'll never happen. Yeah, see, because they'll never accept that. Anyways, Islanders, um, we're back now after such a long, long trip um, away at Brisbane City. Which I've not been there since the uh, since January. Uh, we're going to go back to Russell Island now, and then yeah, and then yeah, I'll see if I can disembark really quick, very lightning quickly down from Russell. So um, I'll see you Islanders at Russell, um, and for the rest of this clip, we'll play some music. See you there at Russell.
Except our right, island, we're back at Russell. These merge to the left lane. I don't say we need to fill here, but you're gonna find me now. We are back at Russell. Told you I'm out there lightning fast. He's held everyone up except me. I never hold up traffic like some people have. I don't. And it's the right thing to do. Not hold up traffic. He's back. Idiots on this island. They don't make enough space. Okay, island as well. Terribly sorry that I have to do this. Hope you've enjoyed this episode where we're going to the city. Thanks for watching this episode of Island Life Living in Poverty. Leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you islanders tomorrow. Bye! Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Island Life YouTube channel.